morning student myself anjali sir and this is class 12 today we are going to take further topics so our first topic is grouping of cells we we found that resistor before that we found resistor are connected in series as well as in parallel this time we did we will do uh, cells cells are connected means grouping of cells grouping of cells are of two types one when the cells are connected in series another when the cells are connected in parallel okay so our first topic is cells are connected in series in series also two type of connection is there one is uh, one is uh, with one layer okay with with same or one same layer
chemical resistance is along that is R1 basically we work for it ठीक है this is R1 this is R2 and this is this is N1 means number of resistance okay but this is the diagram for the different EMF when different EMF is there student please listen very carefully when different EMF is connected in a circuit diagram means when the cell of different EMF is connected when the cell of different EMF is connected in a circuit diagram then what will be developed in the circuit tell me what will be developed in the circuit yes your answer is terminal potential difference that time what is what is develop their terminal potential difference when cell of when different cells are connected in series okay so here we will start the value of this is total emf dear student total emf is what e is equals to e on plus e okay now uh, total emf Internal resistance is equal to total internal resistance. Book it now, my students. That is R1 plus R2. Clear, student? So, for first cell, for first cell, what will be the value of terminal potential difference? We discuss two condition. Where, where eights. In the previous topic, we discovered where one time it aids and one time it opposes. When it is into the cell, it aids. When it is out of the cell, it is opposing. So here it is out of the cell. Okay, current is moving from one cell to another cell. So it is out of the cell. So V is equal to, so first V is equal to V1 plus V2. This will be the total terminal potential difference. So value of V1 is equal to E1 minus I R1. Dear students, V2 is equal to E2 minus I R2. Dear students, now V is equal to, it is very easy, E1 minus I R1 plus E2 minus I R2. Okay, now we will you know we will do arrangement. So that is E1 plus E2. Okay, minus I R1 plus R2. Clear, student? This is the value of V. If I will ask you what is the value of I, so you will say I is equals to you know I is equals to what? I is equals to E1 plus E2. Upon E1 plus E2 upon R plus R1 plus R2. Because only this cell have different EMF as well as different internal resistance. External resistance is as same as as okay. Now another condition. Yes, okay. This is all uh, yeah, this is up to this. For different EMF and this is for the same EMF. Okay, for it is all for today and uh, this is completed. Up. Now we will take some numericals of this topic. Some numericals means related to this only. I am going to take NCRT questions only. Uh, you have to look all this. Please note it down. Okay. Revise it well at your home, practice it because 65 to 70 percent dedications are coming in the exam. And first, dedication will be clear with the theory, definitely your numericals will also be get clear. I am going to read the question. Your first question that is NCRD textual question, last textual question, question number 14. I am going to read the question. Question number 14. I will give you a hint only. You will solve by your own. Question number 14. Okay. The earth surface has a negative surface charge density. Negative surface charge density. Given what? Negative surface charge density. The value is 10 into 10 to the power 
9 coulomb per meter inverse. Okay. The potential difference is of 400 kilo volt. Okay. So, what is potential difference here? Potential difference is 400 kilo volt. Now, between the top of the atmosphere and the surface result. Now, yes, due to the low conductivity of the low atmosphere in a current of only 1800 means how much the value of current is 1800 ampere. Okay, now over the entire globe, if there were no mechanism of sustaining atmospheric electric field, how much time it will take? But now for sustaining here it is no time means for reaching the result, how much time it will take? destination to reach the Yeah, this never happens practically because there is a mechanism replenish electric charge, namely continual thunderstorm. Yes, means there is a mechanism. Kaise pahunchega? Due to thunderstorm or due to lightning. For that, one value is also given. R R is for radius. It is also given in the question. Radius of the earth is 6.37 6 10 to the power 6 ok find kya karna hai value of t how much time it will take you know you know time and current see formula ko do ne padha hai in the first character that i is equal to q by t hamko kya find karna hai t matlab ki i into q ठीक है we have value of i matlab i ki value ka problem nahi hai hamare paas charge nahi hai हमारे पास इसकी वैल्यू नहीं है चार्ज की वैल्यू नहीं है चार्ज की वैल्यू के लिए क्या करेंगे यहां पर सरफेस बोल रहा है सरफेस के लिए हमेशा हम क्या करते हैं यू नो फॉर द सरफेस इज 4 पाई r स्क्वायर सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी हम तो लोगों ने फर्स्ट चैप्टर में पढ़ा हुआ है s 4 पाई r स्क्वायर यू नो द वैल्यू ऑफ 4 पाई एंड r स्क्वायर यहां से तुमको s की वैल्यू मिल जाएगी ठीक है ठीक है यहां तो तुम लोगों को s की वैल्यू मिल जाएगी अब q की भी क्या करेंगे अभी s है मेरे पास और कौन सी वैल्यू है रो v है हमारा फार्मूला दैट इज s is equals to हम लोगों ने फर्स्ट चैप्टर में भी भी पढ़ा था रो is equals to q by s फर्स्ट चैप्टर में हमने पढ़ा था रो is equals to q by s फिर भी यहां पर क्या चाहिए q चाहिए तो मैं इन दोनों का क्या कर दूंगी मल्टीप्लिकेशन करूंगी मैंने कर दिया मेरे पास q की वैल्यू भी आ गई I तो था ही क्योंकि लिए मैंने क्या कर दिया रो into S I तो था ही क्योंकि लिए मैंने क्या कर दिया रो into S ठीक है S S की वाले क्या है 4 by R square यानि कि रो into 4 by R square into R ये वाले इस पूट कर देना यूजिल you definitely got your answer. What you need? So much time, but these all formulas you know in the first chapter we have learned. Okay? The only electric charge part. Now, second numerical. Second numerical is easy. It is little bit tough. What second numerical is saying? Uh, your second numerical is saying. Your second numerical is saying. Six lead acid type of secondary cell. Each of EMF2 मतलब 6 cells है Cells कितने है यहां पर? 6 ठीक है? और एक की वाली कितनी दिन हुई है? The value of 1 is 2 मल्टिप्लाय कर देगा 12 ठीक है? Total number of cells कितना आ जाएगा In tablet resistance कितना दिया हुआ है? R is equals to 0 0.0154 अगर 6 cells है तो उनका 6 internal resistance होगा मल्टिप्लाय कर देगा तुम्हारे answer आ जाएगा R ठीक है पूछता क्या है यस नाउ एक्सटर्नल रेजिस्टेंस आर के पास प्रोवाइड किया है एक्सटर्नल रेजिस्टेंस इज प्रोवाइडेड दैट इज 8.5 ओम ठीक है ठीक है ये हमको गिवन है ध्यान से देख लेना कि कितने सेल्स कनेक्टेड है अगर फोर सेल्स होता तो वी विल मल्टीप्लाई इट बाय 4 ये सिक्स सेल्स आर कनेक्टेड सो वी विल मल्टीप्लाई इट बाय 6 एंड यू नो इफ सिक्स सेल्स आर कनेक्टेड मींस सिक्स इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस इज आल्सो सप्लाइड ओके now the value of R is capital R, external resistance is 8.5. What is the current drawn from the supply? Current drawn. Current will be I is equal to E 